So the question I get asked a lot from my peers, like my friends and family, and even random people on the internet ask me, Rich, what laptop should I buy for school? Should I go with the Mac? Should I go with the Windows? And I'm here to tell you the answer today is um, Linux, all right? Linux is the answer. That's the one you should go with. That's the one you should go with all the time. Not really though, I'm just playing. It really all depends on your usage, all right? Maybe you want a Mac for its nice, elegant design. Many, many college girls and guys use it without a problem. My M1 MacBook Air right behind me is doing an amazing job. In fact, the last 30 to 50 some videos that were edited on this channel were all done in that machine. It's very, very powerful for what it's worth. I haven't ran into a lot of major problems with it at all and it gets the job done and right beside it is the microsoft surface laptop 4 and this is going to be a great video comparison between these two because both of these are made by their respective manufacturers windows microsoft apple mac also before you guys go down to the comments and set fire to the rain saying which one is better mac windows blah 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 all right i'm here to tell you that i've been using both machines for a very very long time ever since i was a wee little boy so uh by the end of this video hopefully you get an idea of which one you should be leaning towards and finding out which one is best for your needs and your preferences. So with that being said, let's get started. Repairs and upgradability. So if you're gonna go with a Mac, you can just say goodbye to any upgrades, repairs, and everything else because Apple makes it virtually impossible to upgrade it because they quite literally solder and embed their hardware in their own components. So nerds like you and I can't even tinker with it. As with Windows, let's say two or three years down the road, you wanna give your laptop a huge boost in memory speed. You can do that by pulling out the screws, putting in some new RAM sticks, and there you go. You wanna upgrade your storage to two, four, eight terabytes, as many as your heart's desires, you can do that as well. Upgrade it with an SSD to give it a huge boost in speed. Maybe you wanna replace the fans if they get old or if they break, you know? The sky's the limit. Now that's not necessarily a pro and a con. It all depends on, you know, a person. I like to get down and tinker with stuff. So I do prefer Windows in that regards, but I also really love Macs, how it's just all one complete machine and I don't have to worry about anything else. And especially when I get older and stuff like that, you know, even the simplest annoyances can really just make my day go sour. Now let's talk about needs. And I really think it comes down to what you want to do, especially in regards to your budget. If you game at all, then you may want to consider picking up a Windows laptop with a good graphics card, CPU, and all that because Macs don't have a huge selection of games at all. If you already have things like an iPhone, iPad, maybe Apple TV and stuff like that, uh, Apple Watch, AirPods, who knows, you know, then a Mac would probably be best because you'll have consistency over everything and it makes it easier to do things between devices because of the uh, Apple ecosystem. I myself uh, have the iPhone 11 I've been using for quite a while and I'll have my AirPods right behind the camera right there. And it, you know, this works really well when I can just um, switch between music from my iPhone over to my Mac. And if I need to screenshot a picture or send it to you know my professor or something, I just take it on this, airdrop it right into my MacBook right here, send it in without a sweat. Um, with Windows, you do have to take a little bit of a uh, don't die. Uh, with Windows, if you were to do the same thing, you might have to take the photo, go on to uh, Google Drive and upload it. You know, it's not as consistent and uh, quick and easy as uh, airdropping. You also gotta factor in the types of apps that you're using, or if your school is able to run on either of the operating systems. The hardware differences between and so on. Do you want a touchscreen two-in-one? Macs don't have that unless you get an iPad. Are you looking to swap out parts if they get damaged like I mentioned earlier? Have you used any of these operating systems before? Have you used Windows your entire life? Maybe you want to switch over to Mac, you want to see what that's about. I will say this now that Macs are very intuitive when it comes to their software and just overall using and just, um, I guess getting stuff done in an efficient and quick manner has been spectacular in that machine. I uh, haven't really crashed as much as I would uh, using apps and browsing the web and doing all that sorts of stuff, you know, compared to Windows. But both Windows and Mac OS have access to most major web browsers, productivity suites, creative applications, so either will likely get the job done for everyday web surfing, emails, and basic office work. But for those who need something more uh, niche, the differences matter. For example, many photo and video editing apps Apps out there, people would know uh, Final Cut Pro and Pixelmator. Like I said, if you already have an iPhone, iPad, AirPods, and other Apple products, as you would know, the ecosystem between iPhone and the Mac is just purely amazing. Apple makes it very easy for you to connect. I have a lot of friends and family, bosses, professors, and basically everyone else using iPhones, and sometimes texting messages on the MacBook feels a ton better than just you know typing it on my phone all the time. The iMessage app is something I use almost on a daily basis alongside FaceTime. FaceTime is very, very enjoyable on this. You know, these are all Apple apps that, you know, many of us would come to know and you just 
you will simply never get on a Windows laptop. Statistically, most people in America have an iPhone. Uh, they're more familiar with the operating system. It's very easy, intuitive, and uh, you know, colorful and bubbly. Now, at the same time, many school, universities, and workplaces may require you to install software on your computer, depending on your major. Generally, what I've seen in healthcare, as that's my own major and some of my engineering friends I have, Windows has much more compatibility when it comes to SAS, SPSS, R. Some of these programs might not run and be good for using in general if you were on a Mac instead. Windows just has a larger selection of softwares and third-party apps when it comes to those things, so definitely consider that as well. Uh, it just works on a Mac. Now, this is a phrase that Steve Jobs has been trotting for many, many years to describe products or their services that he was unveiling. The phrase expressed what Apple was all about, selling technology that solved problems with the minimum fuss of effort on the part of an actual owner. I can safely say that in my personal experience, Macs do in fact have less problems um, when it comes to editing videos, programming, using just other intensive apps, and even simply just booting up Safari and Google Chrome to do a simple web search. Uh, it feels more like it works. I, I guess that's a hard way to put it, but it just feels fluid. It feels faster and it feels like it's gonna go through. As with Windows, sometimes I feel like I'm like double, triple clicking on Google Chrome just to open up and. I don't know, maybe I have to give it a reset just to get it going. If you can use a Windows for, for many, many years, you you definitely get what I'm saying. On Windows, I would find that many softwares would just crash a large number of times and that really adds to my frustration while I'm using those laptops. Like, I can't tell you how many times I lost hundreds of files when I was younger editing on a Windows laptop and even just a desktop that I wouldn't be crashing way too much on a MacBook instead. Now, of course, if you get a Mac, you're gonna get accustomed to their uh, three finger gestures and their shortcuts that they got going on. Now, the possibilities are endless on a Windows. Okay, now owning a Windows is kind of like owning a car, all right? You can add modifications to it, you can install new parts, and in some ways, you get a lot more bang for your buck. Like I said before, playing games on a Windows is just the best experience. You know, the gaming industry is huge, computer games are becoming more advanced and require a large amount of space, and top of the range graphics cards, you know, for the price of a MacBook Air, which certainly couldn't run the latest game titles. You can pick up a PC computer with the hardware needed to run most modern games. I mean, at a thousand bucks, you're already gonna get like an Intel i7 with maybe 16, 32 gigs of RAM, um, one terabyte of hard drive space, two even. Um, I mean, just do a quick Google search. You can just compare the specs on there. And then you take a look at the you know MacBook Air, which is around the 900 to $1,000 price point. You get eight gigs of RAM and one chip, 256 gigabytes of storage, which um, in this day and age is, is very, very low. <laughs> In a lot of ways, I would consider a Windows laptop more distinctly personal because of what you can do with it, while MacBooks are kind of like a one-time buy and a one-time forget. But uh, let's talk about the hardware and you know physical usability. In my personal experience, now I found that MacBooks are easier to buy and get used to and start using right away. Macs are usually pretty premium in their hardware. Uh, their trackpads are one of the best I've ever used to this day in any laptop. Apple puts a lot of time and research in their user experience, and it really shows. If you have never used a MacBook, I just suggest you try it for a week to see how you feel with it, because it feels very, very premium. Many people have talked about how the Mac's frequency and tracking on the trackpad just is marvelous. Many computer manufacturers out there uh, for Windows like Dell, HP, even Microsoft even. I feel like the trackpad on there is not always the best compared to it. You just have to try it for yourself. The Max build quality also gonna be very nice. The speakers, display, and batteries are gonna work very, very well. Apple has a standard to make sure every hardware and product is, is equal and same throughout. Windows, on the other hand, is gonna be more like finding uh, the perfect watermelon, all right? With all the manufacturers out there, you're gonna have to find the brand which you like the most. Each brand has their own keyboard, their own trackpad, their own speakers and whatnot. You get the picture. So it really comes down to your own customization. You may have to spend a little bit more time to find that that good laptop. Now, what do I think overall as a student? I'm really enjoying my M1 MacBook Air. I love it a lot when it comes to texting, FaceTime and friends, reading through emails, typing up articles, documents, homeworks, and video editing on this is just a blast. I am bummed out that I can't really, you know, take a break sometimes in game. You also can't download some cool, you know, third-party apps to do other things that you'd want with it. I do 
feel a little bit uh, locked when it comes to customization, but if it's for the sole purpose of work and getting stuff done, um, I personally would choose a Mac. And on the other hand, with Windows, I love, love their file organization. To me, it feels better, makes more logical sense. You can download an endless amount of apps and third-party indie games, softwares. You can basically run virtually anything. Some other manufacturers might make a super high resolution screen. You also may get some USB-A ports, SD card readers, and other charging devices out there, HDMI. It's really unlimited. And for that, if you are that type of person, uh, I may consider getting a Windows instead. And yeah, it's uh, really hard to decide which one is best because for me, I, I use both. But if you had to choose one, I could see why it is difficult. Anyways, my best mechanism. Anyways, my best recommendation to you is to try it out. Go to your local electronics store, try to see if you can get your hands on either of them, use it. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you are using a Windows or a MacBook. Let me know how your experience is, what year of school are you in, all that, yada, yada, yada. I'm excited to hear what you guys are using, so, uh, you know, get the comment section going. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this week's video, hit that subscribe button, give it a like too if you really enjoyed it. And if you are going to school, good luck to you. You can't go wrong with either of these machines and I wish you the best. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.